So, I mean, you know, I've been tearing the uh, garage apart looking for my lock that I used on the old fence. I was like, what did I do with that? I took it off right before the, the guy showed up. And I'm thinking about it. It's like, no, maybe I didn't take it off right before the, the guy showed up. And I'm wondering, because a lot of times on the other fence, what I do is I lay it up here. I'm like, oh crap, did I lay it up there by mistake? And I, uh, well, found it. The guys, the guys must have uh, just left it laying here. That's our, yeah, that's my lock. So, yeah, they must have just left it laying. They must have seen it up there and laid it on the on the windowsill while they put the fence up. But yeah, it looks like it still works. Spray a little W40 in there and uh, get it back on the, put it up there so I can find it when I'm looking for it. Well, it's another interesting thing. This, right here in this area, is where the fence was laying for like two weeks. So for two weeks, that piece of fence is laying right here on the ground. And to be honest with you, it's already on the, the way to recovering. I don't know what that wire is. Because I got that wire. I think that's actually the cable, that one over there. And there was another one over here somewhere. So I don't know what that cable, I don't know what this is. Oh, this backyard is so lumpy. But this is what it looks like mode. Lawn guys came. I actually posted a picture yesterday of my uh, front area not mode going, oh no, where were my lawn guys? But they showed up, did a great job too. Let's see, looking around. You know what I'm noticing? about this fence. My old fence had a million knot holes on it. This one has zero. I have not seen a single knot hole that goes all the way through the fence. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh my gosh. There's all, look at that. Damn ants. The problem is if they're here, they'll end up going in the they'll end up going in the house through the weep holes. I need to spray again. There might be something I can do right now, to be honest with you. Yeah, the grass looks really bad here because I haven't, I don't water it regularly because it's the backyard. This is the area that gets watered. So this spot looks really good right here, right here around the tree because we, we still water the tree. But the rest of it kind of goes to pot because we don't water it because, you know, water ain't free. <laughs> water costs money. But yeah, this looks kind of kind of grayish as well. Holy crap, is that another? Is that another yeah, hell yeah. Son of a bitch. Boy, they just move right in, don't they? This is Kelly Hawkins in a great city of Houston, Texas. And you are watching Live to Thrill. Yellow! She looks pretty good from out here. I gotta be honest with you, I like the yellow look of the fence more than the gray. But, you know, that will turn that same shade of gray that all the rest of them turn. <clears throat> this looks like the boards are in a hell of a lot better shape than the old fence, so... Hope it'll last. Hope the homeowner association didn't give me shit about it. A um, million years ago, uh, the homeowner association sent me a letter saying, Oh, you're the first house in the block, so you have to make a good impression. So if they give me any crap about putting this fence up, I'm going to see if I can find that letter and shove their own words down their throat. Oh, you, oh, you told me I had to make a good impression for the neighborhood. That's why I put that fence up. <sighs> shove their own words down their throat and see how they like it. So, let's see how, let's see how it goes. Man, this field is like a minefield. <clears throat> Got all kinds of crap to trip over out here. Where'd that brick go? Saw a brick over here a minute ago. There it is. Ha! Yeah, they uh, probably mentioned this before, but the uh, the people who used to live here had a dog that constantly got out, so they put a bunch of bricks underneath the fence to try to try to prevent the dog from being able to get out. So we just never we never really moved them, even though we had a dog.
That little low one I can use the clippers on. When we moved in, that was a stick sticking up out of the ground. It's actually caught up pretty good now. Uh, I think they had stifled the tree by putting those little, they had these little metal things on both sides of it. And I really wonder if those metal things being tied around the tree to stabilize it were actually doing more harm than good. Because it seems like we left them on for a little while wondering if they had just planted a tree. And as soon as we took them off, the tree just shot up like a, you know, got, got thicker. So, yeah, I really do wonder if those, um, those tie downs were actually hindering the tree from growing. So I'm sitting here in the front yard trying to enjoy a piece of shade and uh, got some over here doing their yard work, of course, which is nice to see people do their own yard work. I used to do it myself. And let's listen to the breeze blow, and I was waiting for the lull and the noise. And I'm like, what am I doing? I'll never get any video done if I wait for a lull and the noise between the wind and weed eater and that stupid. They got the compressor thing going over there and west timer right there uh, i mean shit ain't no ain't gonna be no quiet to be had so bust out the camera and start doing some video oh man feels nice out here when you're not working 